Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install the game Rocket League to get it working on the Apple Silicon Mac. So there is no macOS version. We have to use the Windows version of the game if you want to play online multiplayer. And today we're going to be using the Game Porting Toolkit. This is a special tool released by Apple, which allows you to run Windows, DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 games, and is far superior to the previous implementations using either Crossover or Parallels. So here you can see my M1 MacBook Air. We're running here at 1080p at performance settings. We are playing an online match and we're getting a solid 60 frames per second. There is some minor stutter, but mostly it's going to be a very solid experience. So today I'm going to show you the entire process of installing Game Porting Toolkit, which is quite a complex one. It's a command line interface. And in order to get this to work on Epic, we're going to be using an open source launcher called Heroic. But once it all comes together, it's going to offer you the best performance on Apple Silicon Macs. The other thing as well is that you need to be using macOS Sonoma. And at the time of recording, this is currently in beta. What I normally recommend is that people don't upgrade their main machine and that they install macOS Sonoma on a separate volume and then it won't affect your main data and applications. If you want to find out how to do this I have a video tutorial link in my description. Please check it out and once you have macOS Sonoma installed we can move on to the next step. So the first thing that we need to do is to download the command line tools for Xcode 15 beta. So we're going to visit the developer.apple.com forward slash downloads link which I'll also leave in the description. Then it's going to prompt to sign into an account but you can actually sign into a standard Apple account. And once we're signed in with an account then do a search for command line tools beta. Click on this more details and then download the command line tools for xcode 15 beta.dmg click allow and then let this download we're now going to do a search for the word game and then we've got here the game porting toolkit beta so we're also going to click this so once that's finished downloading we're going to double click on the dmg and then we're going to double click and install the command line tools.pkg press continue here agree install type in your password and then let that install so once that's done press close so we're going to go back to our downloads folder and then double click on game porting toolkit beta.dmg here we're going to agree and what that's going to do is to mount a dmg which contains all the files that we need for the next step so what you might want to do is to refer to the readme.rtf this contains all of the original instructions however we'll be using the wiki article instead as it contains a lot of missing steps so i'm going to put the website here on the left and then i'll open up a terminal window here on the right just type in terminal and then return and we're going to place this terminal window here so that it's easy to copy and paste commands between these two windows. So the first thing we're going to do is to make sure that we have Rosetta installed. So just control click copy and then paste into here, press return, press A to agree. So you probably have Rosetta installed already, but this just ensures that this is done. Then we're going to go ahead and enter the x86 64-bit shell. So we're going to paste here and this is going to change the prompt. And now we're going to download and install the x86 64-bit version of Homebrew, which is going to be different from your standard Homebrew. Your password will be invisible, but it will register. Just press return. Here we're just going to press it again to confirm. And now it's going to download and install Homebrew. So it's important here to copy these two lines and then paste these two things to set your path correctly. Press return. And now we're going to confirm that our path is correct by typing in which brew. Return. And this is correct. User local bin brew, which corresponds to this user local bin brew. So next what I'm going to do is to tap the source code from Apple. Paste it here. Press return. And this is basically making a copy of all the code that we need. So at this stage, you have a couple of options. If you think that your homebrew might be a little bit old for whatever reason, you need to be using the most up-to-date version. Then you should use this command. However, I just installed homebrew for the first time on this computer. So we'll use this command here. Press return. So just be aware that this process really takes quite a long time. When I did it on my MacBook Air, it probably took about an hour and a half. So what we're going to do is just wait for this to complete before we can move on to the next step. So this took quite a bit of time. It says here 26 minutes but in reality we're closer to nearly an hour on the M1 Max chip. So now that we've built the necessary files what we're going to do is to start working on the prefix. So the one prefix is similar to the crossover bottle concept and what we're going to do now is basically set the location of the wine prefix. We're going to give it its default name which Apple has set which is going to be used in all of the following commands and we're going to copy this line here and then create a new folder called my game prefix which is going to go in your home folder. So paste this here, press return. So if everything's gone to plan, this one configuration window will open. And then what we need to do is change the Windows version from 7 to Windows 10. Press apply and then OK, and then that will close. Then what we're going to do is to prepare our toolkit. So we still have our game porting toolkit DMG mounted to the computer. What we're going to do is run this command here, which is basically going to copy some library files into the prefixes library files. Press paste here and then return. Next, we're going to use this command to copy three of the scripts from the DMG into the user local bin folder. That's going to allow us to use the script without specifying a path. So we're going to paste this here, press return. 
and now that's done. And next, in order to play Rocket League, we need to have access to Epic Games Launcher. Now there is no Mac compatible Epic Games Launcher. However, we can use an open source alternative called Heroic. This doesn't have game porting toolkit support yet, but it has been added as a pull request. So there is the option to actually try this. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do this. In the future, this might be integrated into the main download here. However, at the time of recording, this is the only way to do this at the moment. If you want to use Epic Game Store games like Rocket League or any other game that you've got installed there, then this is gonna be the tool for you. So I'll leave a link in the description for this particular pull request and the artifact that's associated with it. So this one is 2822, and this is the latest at the time of recording. There might be others, which I'll change the link to in the future, or you might find that it's been integrated into the main system by the time that you've watched this video. So here, in order to download the ARM64 artifact for your Apple Silicon Mac, we need to go ahead and log in. So just go ahead and sign into a GitHub account. If you don't have one, just create an account for free. So now I've logged in, we can see that this link is now clickable and click on ARM64 Mac version. Just let that download. So once that's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and extract this in our downloads folder. Just go to download in Finder, double click on Mac ARM64, and then it will extract. We've got a heroic DMG, and then we're going to drag and drop this into the applications folder. And then within applications, we're going to go to heroic. And if you find that you can't open it for whatever reason, then we're going to go to terminal. We're going to type in the command XATTR space dash CR space. So make sure to leave a space there and then drag and drop Heroic onto here, press return. And now this is openable. So double click on Heroic. And now this is opening up. So here we're gonna do is to go and log into our account. So click the login button here. And then let's say we're gonna log in via Epic Games. We're gonna click this button here, then click on sign in with Epic Games. And then I'm gonna type in my email address and password. So we're just gonna confirm with the security code in our email. So once we're done, we're gonna go into our library. So to get Rocket League installed, we're gonna press the button here and then we'll press the install button. And then make sure it's installed into Heroic. Just press the install button here. It's gonna go ahead and download and install. So we're gonna go into settings here and we're gonna select the gaming toolkit standalone wine 7.7. So make sure that's selected. You also need to make sure that your wine prefix has been set. So this is the path for the default my-game-prefix, which is contained in the root of the user folder, or you might have renamed it to something else or put it in a different location. So once that's done, we can go ahead and press the play button and then Rocket League is gonna load up. So as far as I can tell, this is the best way to run Rocket League on a Mac. There is no online macOS version, so we have to use the Windows version on the Epic Game Store. And as far as I can tell, this is going to be the very best way to play this game on Apple Silicon Macs. The performance is going to be better than using Crossover, which has an issue with nameplates being displayed. And it's also more reliable than using something like Parallels as well, which also has more stuttering performance issues. So anyway, that is how you get Rocket League and also the Epic Games Launcher and also GOG launcher all working on the Apple Silicon Mac. If you want to get a controller working, just pair a Bluetooth controller with macOS and then the game should pick it up. If you have any issues, then make sure to check the Apple Gaming Wiki website, which has all of the game porting toolkit troubleshooting pages there, as well as a dedicated Rocket League page too. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.